it's Pat with this week's recap of So You Think You Can Dance. Apologies for being a few days late. Uh, I had a crazy week, but it was a crazy week on the show as well. I will say it's a good thing when I get to do it late because I get to watch the results show and talk about that too. So I'll do that at the end, but this recap's really late, so I'll make it really quick. The dancers dance three dances, one with an all-star, one with another contestant, and one solo. I'm going to skip the recaps on the solos because they're whatever. But another injury this week on the show. Billy Bell hurt his knee. The doctor said he was okay to dance, but he chose not to, which means he was automatically in the bottom three this week. Very interesting. We'll get to that later. So he didn't dance. First routine of the night was Lauren and Twitch, and they did a hip-hop routine, and it was really fun, really cute. I didn't really watch what the judges said at all, so if I repeat something that they said, it's by accident. Um, I, I thought it was fun. Lauren's great. She's the only girl. I hope she makes it to the very end, if not win. Next up was Jose and Allison, and they did a contemporary routine by Sonia, where they danced at the edge of the stage, which I thought was a really awesome concept. Unfortunately, Jose, you know, I did wa listen to what me and Michael said about him. She called him, like, very, he was doing it very pedestrian. Totally true. I'm getting lots of comments on the vlogs about how we're kind of picking on Jose because he doesn't have formal training, etc., etc. Totally get it. I agree. He doesn't, so you can't really compare him in those styles, but you are being compared to people who do have training and look amazing when they dance, so you have to do as good as they do. That's what I think. So I really wish it would have been two people dancing, two contemporary dancers doing this dance. I think it would have looked amazing. Um, it was really cool, though, and Allison is awesome. Um, so that's what I think. Robert and Lauren, the all-star Lauren, did a jazz routine next, and they were supposed to be, like, seducing each other. Um, they're both really great. I like both of them. I got kind of bored through the routine and sort of stopped paying attention because it was the, I think it was the music was very sort of monotone the whole way through. So um, it was fine, but I don't think it helped or hindered either of them. Next up was Kent and Catherine, and they did a jazz routine, also by Sonia. Um, this routine, like, I don't know what it was. It could have been really, really fun, and it was also it was supposed to be, like, celebrating life and your differences and not caring what other people think, and it was okay. I, I don't, both Kent and Catherine seemed a little, like, tired. I don't know if that's the word. It was, I just felt like there was lots of things where they were just, like, waiting, like, oh, do a move, oh, do a move. Adachike and Comfort were next, and they did a lyrical hip-hop routine by Tabitha Napoleon. Uh, it was very pretty, very cool. Adachike and Comfort are both, like, in my not-favorites list, but the routine was great. I thought Comfort actually danced the routine, like, way too hard. Like, she, she was, like, too into it, and it could have been a little bit smoother, so I actually thought she was very distracting, but... It's just what I think. That's why I do these blogs. Um, Robert and Lauren danced. Uh, they were the first contestants to be partnered up. They did a samba routine that was kind of hot and spicy, and it wasn't super memorable, but they did a nice job. Adachike and Jose were next. I'm going through these really quick. Adachike and H Jose were paired up for a Paso Doble, which is the first time two men did a ballroom routine together. Um, it, I did watch what the judges said about this because uh, I thought it was interesting. The routine could have been so cool. Remember when Neil and What's His Face did that uh, Two Princes routine that me and Michaels did? That was it's awesome when you see two guys like dueling. But I I don't think Adachike or Jose had very good form. The judges kind of agreed. I would have loved to see two ballroom dancers take this on. I know that's the whole point of people dancing outside of their styles, whatever. But I was not really. Happy with it. They both had weird posture, too. Like, Adachika's head is always way, like, way forward. And the final routine of the night was Kent, and it was supposed to be him and Billy, but it ended up, it ended up being, ended up, there we go, being uh, Kent and Twitch doing a step routine together, and I really did not like it. I know they save the big, like, awesome and normally hip-hop or more contemporary routines for the end of the show when it's like very exciting like high energy but I, I don't know I, I I think at first I thought oh Twitch is stepping in for Billy this is such a, an advantage for Kent because Twitch is awesome but I actually think seeing them Kent and Twitch side by side made it look not good like Kent and Billy would have been one thing like the two like little boys like doing step, like, would have been really fun, but, neck, like, Kent and Twitch just looked weird side by side, 
both in their skill and their size, because Kent is itty-bitty. So, I don't know. I wasn't super into it. I didn't listen to what the judges said, so maybe they agreed, maybe they didn't. Okay, that was performance night. Now we get to elimination night. Bottom three, spoiler, if you don't want to know, I'm going to give it away right now. The bottom three were Billy, because he was injured and didn't dance, Robert, surprising, he's in the bottom three a lot, and Jose should have been in the bottom. Kind of surprised that a Chike wasn't, but the elimination was very shocking. So when I was watching, I thought, okay, Jose better go home because he does. He should go home. Sorry, the other dancers are way better. But then I thought that maybe they would eliminate Billy because he voluntarily, he was okay to dance, and he said no, and they were saying, well, you're kind of going to be an advantage next week because you got a week to rest, even though you could have danced, you didn't. So I thought maybe they would get rid of him. Plus, there's a lot of contemporary dancers still on the show. And Robert, I don't know. With Robert, you never know what people are going to think. So I was very conflicted about who I thought was going to go home, and it turns out nobody went home. They kept everybody, but next week, two dancers are going to be eliminated, and they're going to be... Billy and Jose. That's what I'm going to call because they need to get rid of a contemporary dancer to get rid of Billy. And, oh my God, Jose needs to go home. I know it's America's favorite dancer and not America's best dancer, which they are very careful to point out. But, it's Jose's time. Oh, P.S. I love that they incorporate the all-star dancers into the performances on Elimination Night when the Allison and Lauren and Dominic were dancing with Enrique Iglesias. I love that. What a fun way to incorporate the show, the performers. That's my final notes. Sorry this recap was late, but let me know what you think of this week's show, and I will see you next week for the double elimination.